Hello, and welcome to a History of Crypto video series brought to you by Public Key Crypto News. This series delves into the fascinating world of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. I'm your host, Crypto Clay, and in today's episode, we're going to explore the life, achievements, and connection of a peculiar figure in the crypto world, Hal Finney. Back before Wagme, Hoddle, and To the Moon were ever a thing, titans of the cryptocurrency industry were just programmers, freedom seekers, entrepreneurs, and naysayers. These are their stories. This is a History of Crypto podcast. Hal Finney was born on May 4, 1956 in Coalinga, California. He had an early interest in computers and cryptography, which led him to pursue a degree in computer science from the California Institute of Technology. He later received a master's degree in computer science from the University of California, Santa Barbara. Finney's contributions to cryptography and computer science are remarkable. He was involved in the development of several groundbreaking technologies, including the concept of reusable proof of work, which is a key component of modern cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. How Finney was an active participant in the cypherpunk movement a group of privacy-focused activists who advocated for the use of cryptography and other technologies to protect individual freedoms. He was known for his technical expertise and his contributions to discussions on mailing lists where he exchanged ideas with other cypherpunks, including Nick Zabo and Wei Dai, who were also considered influential figures in the development of cryptocurrencies. But what is Hal Finney's connection to Bitcoin? Well. It turns out that he played a pivotal role in the early days of the cryptocurrency. In fact, he was the first person to receive a Bitcoin transaction from none other than the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto. In January 2009, just a few days after the Bitcoin network went live, Hal Finney received 10 Bitcoins and a transaction from Satoshi Nakamoto. This transaction is considered the first real-world use case of Bitcoin, and it demonstrated the functionality of the cryptocurrency's peer-to-peer payment system. Hal Finney was an early adopter and an ardent supporter of Bitcoin. He even contributed to the development of the Bitcoin software, helping to iron out bugs and improve the protocol. Now here's where it gets interesting. Despite his significant contributions to Bitcoin and his close relationship with Satoshi Nakamoto, Hal Finney never claimed to be the real identity behind the pseudonym. However, there are several pieces of circumstantial evidence that have led some to believe that he could indeed be the elusive Satoshi Nakamoto. For instance, Hal Finney's background in cryptography, his technical expertise, and his close association with the cypherpunk movement make him a likely candidate for the creator of Bitcoin. Additionally, his early involvement in Bitcoin receiving the first transaction from Nakamoto and his contributions to the development of the Bitcoin software all add to the speculation. However, to this day, there have been no definitive proof that Hal Finney was indeed Satoshi Nakamoto. Unfortunately for Hal, he never got to see how widely adopted Bitcoin would become. Shortly after the launch of Bitcoin in 2009, he was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, otherwise known as ALS. ALS, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. As an engineer, he designed a keyboard that would allow himself to continue coding as the muscles in his fingers and hands could no longer function. Finney died in Phoenix, Arizona on August 28, 2014, as a result of complications of ALS and was cryopreserved by the Alcor Life Extension Foundation. Maybe one day Finney can have his body restored and he will be able to see what his contributions to mankind have brought forth. What are your thoughts on this subject? Do you believe that Hal Finney is Satoshi Nakamoto? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, thanks for watching.